Hello and welcome back. We are joined by Teresa Louder from the Festival Dancers who come out to talk to us for a little while before the parade reaches us. Thank you for being here, Teresa. Thank you for having me. Now, you have a very busy schedule this time of year with the Festival Dancers, I believe. Uh, I do, somewhat. Uh, yes, we perform in different uh, venues this time of year. We do bake sales uh, and uh, we participate in the Danish American uh, Christmas party. We do the Santa Lucia um, program at the end of the evening. And that is on December 11th. Okay. 5 to 8 p.m. at the Bria Folk Center. At the Folk Center, okay, on Jefferson Street. We'll make sure we put a little link to that. Yeah. Dwayne's really good about adding those things on Debris Online. Right, that would be great. All right, what, uh, what is the foundation of, of the Festival Dancers? Let's just start with that, because a lot of people don't know. They think you're the Brit College Dancers. I know this yeah. because I get questioned about it. Oh. <laughs> well, we are a community group. Uh, there is no tryouts. Uh, we do folk dancing. Uh, we also, we do folk dancing from places like uh, England, old ritual dancing. Um, we do Appalachian clogging, uh, flat foot, not with taps, as a lot of the modern uh, cloggers do. We do Danish dances. We do an Austrian dance. Uh, it's a lot of fun take a lot of trips too, right? Yes, we do. That's probably a big draw to the group. We have been several places over the 24 years that I've been with the group. We've traveled to Ireland a couple times, England, Scotland, Wales, Italy, Spain, and probably our biggest trip was to Australia. Of course, we see you at the craft festivals. We do perform there, have done that uh, for many years. Now the festival dancers also have a history with the Christmas parade. I know we talked about this last year when we were talking about the, the 25th anniversary of the parade. The Berea Festival dancers were in the first community twilight Christmas parade and uh, we danced with jingle bells on garlands that year. And you were probably one of those dancers. I was, I was you? one of them and we, we won the best um, performance group in the parade that year. I remember that. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. So, so how long ago was that? No, <laughs> it was in 1984, I believe, or, or something like I think the group started in 1984. Right. Well, is, is there anything you'd like to say? A Merry Christmas wishes? or? Oh, just I hope everyone have, has a great holiday season. Uh, be careful if you're traveling, of course, and uh, be sure to get out and uh, sing a lot. Fantastic. Now, how would they get a hold of you if they're interested in joining? They may uh, phone me at my home phone number, 986-8777, um, or by email, which is louderT at windstream.net. Uh, there are, as I said earlier, there are no tryouts, so anyone that's interested, uh, please come and join us. We also travel domestically. We've got a trip lined up going up through the Northeast and even into Nova Scotia, so they would have to have a passport for that one. Now, what age groups do you serve? Seventh grade through twelfth grade. Through twelfth grade. And if you're interested in hosting a performance of the Festival Dancers, you can also talk to Teresa about that. They're real good about getting out and performing in the community, and they often have audience participation dances, and um, they're excellent, excellent performers. Thank you for that. Well, thank you for being here, Teresa, and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.